Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here with the C47 and another episode of the vlog. It is a loud working set here and we are about 30 minutes away from talent arriving. High profile clients uh, under the radar that we can't talk about right now. This is a project for road and we came out to LA last week. John, who's behind the camera, Romer and I, and then we flew back to New York. Uh, John by way of Texas, but that's another story. And then we got back on an airplane a few days later and here we are to do the shoot. It's a long story, but what I wanted to do is just go over some of the stuff having to do with our setup here. We are at uh, HV, which stands for Hurlbut Visuals, and this is Revolution Cinema Rentals. Um, it's in Burbank and it is not only a rental house, but it is also a stage. It's about a 6,000 square foot space. Um, and we are uh, pretty much ready to do this whole thing. So let me just kind of tell you what's going on over here. In front of me, we have the incomparable Fred from Aerie, and he is our uh, camera operator for our prop camera, but he's really like the guy behind uh, a lot of the stuff when you're out here and sales for Aerie and Amira, Alexa Mini, SXT, all kinds of stuff. And then in the background, uh, there is Olivia. And Olivia is also with Aerie. And she is going to be somebody who's just going to be uh, off screen doing a, uh, what are you doing? You're doing like a, like we made up a line. <laughs> exactly. That's CJ from Rode. Um, he's also kind of, he is actually going to be re recording this audio with the mic that he has. You've got an NTG3 up there, right? NTG3? Um, yep, NTG3 up there. And uh, the, the new Rode uh, boom pole. And then this gentleman here, while he's wearing a Rode microphone t-shirt, uh, Alex Gracie is from LA and he's a gaffer. Uh, he's sometimes a grip. He's sometimes a swing, as we call it. And he's swinging on this job. And uh, to his left, we have the S60, uh, the Sky Panel 60, and it's the C version, which means it's color tunable. It has 300 and is it eight? I always forget the number. I think it's 308 or 318 Lee and Roscoe gels inside of it. Uh, it can, it's just a ridiculous fixture. Lots of output going through a Chimera. That's our key light. Um, and then behind Alex, we actually have uh, one of the the sevens from Airy, and that L7C is uh, set to what, about 6,000 Kelvin, I think? Yep, 6,000 Kelvin. We've got 6,000. We've got another one behind John. He's going to swing around. And this one right here, it's also just kind of putting a little wash on the floor. That's another seven, uh, also at 6,000 Kelvin. And we are running the AC right now. Uh, this guy right here, this jabron is Marco from Rode as well. He's doing all the BTS stuff. So um, he's shooting all of that. He's got a Video Mic Pro on there. We're using the Filmmaker kit, by the way. And let's take a look at some other fixtures, uh, John, and see what else we have. We've got um, over here, this is a Select 30. We're using this as our edge light. That's from Kino Flow. We have another uh, 30 from Airy Sky Panel, and that's really being pushed through a four by here. Did we settle on a we settled on a half grid on here? I believe yeah, and then we're pushing through here, and then we're just doing a little bit of shape, and that's really the fill over here for um, for a two shot that we're using. So it'll also kind of come in and wrap around. We've got some beadboard here, which is just a little lift. Um, we've got a net on here, which is just slowing it down a little bit for the forehead, forehead area. Um, these are all basically props, so we're out of focus here on this screen um, so that when our talent comes in here, he's just sort of looking at what could be a set. We've got some prop headphones here, but they, they're part of a system that Shane uses for his crew where he can have, what did he say yesterday? Hey, Doug, how many? It's like a ridiculous, like 30 people can be on the comm system or something. A range of two miles. Two miles uh, on this whole system. They're all open channel, right? They're all open, open channel. channel. It's like, yeah, it's like a beast of a system. Um, Camera-wise, I mean, besides the Amira that Fred's on over here, our A camera is, uh, you know, the Alexa Mini. So it doesn't, 
that's not too shabby. Uh, we're using the little mini Pappy uh, to John's left. There's Joe. Joe's our sound recordist and mixer for the job. And he's basically running scratch to these two cameras, right? So we got the C300 Mark II as our B, really our, our main camera. We may only use the footage from the Alexa Mini um, is this camera. We've got the Allura with the uh, 30 to 80, uh, 30 to 80. And then we've got a 55 millimeter Otis on that C300 Mark II. This right here is pretty exciting. These are the new master grips from Airy. And I'm gonna be talking about those at NEB. Um, they are not exclusive to Airy camera systems so that it can actually be used with other cameras as well. And for single operators, I mean, what a, an amazing combination on something like an Amira. You get Amira and Master Grips and that's like a, a marriage made in heaven in terms of a single operator and what they can do. Um, we've got another 60 over here if John just sort of tucks and just peeks around the corner. And that's just so that we can kind of feel the set a little bit. Um, and then behind John, we actually have a little pipeline that we're using, and that's just giving us, in fact, John, if you want to go onto the monitor here, I'm going to switch over to our A camera, and we'll kind of look at what our starting frame is here, and you can feel that right there. That's the little pipeline. We've got a practical in there. Um, there's CJ. He's going to be a boom operator. Um, Fred leans in to the EVF, and then we sort of feel him a little bit. And then what happens is we whip pan, and when we whip pan over here, we settle on that set. And there's our background. And if I just point to some stuff here, there's that seven. Tucked in over here, which is pushing this light onto over here, that is uh, a Stella light from Light and Motion. That's the uh, 7000. We just got a practical here, and we put a, um, a CFL. Do we wind up with a CFL, or do we wind up with the LED, the CFL? So it's a daylight balanced CFL, uh, ND, uh, we like double, doubled up ND3. And then we've got another special on this stuff right here in the background, which is basically uh, another light and motion Stella light. Do you want to take the haze stuff and just, uh, where's that canned haze? Oh, look who that is. That's Doug Marhofer. Doug is from Rode. He is the GM of Rode uh, Americas, I guess. And he is actually going to be in this shot with our talent, again, who cannot be named at the moment. That's for a later date. Um, that's the crew for the most part. Again, we've got, uh, you know, everybody here and we're waiting on talent. And then yeah, let's go ahead and try that stuff. What's it called again? Canned Haze. Canned Haze in the name of the company? Uh, Sounds like a band. It's like Canned Heat. It? Yeah. Well, <laughs> Atmosphere aerosol. Yeah, atmosphere aerosol. So you shake it up and just watch what happens. We'll put that in front of the seven there and you can kind of see what's going to happen. So we're going to, we're going to hit this and it just creates a little bit of depth overall. Yeah, there you go. Feels good. Let's go back in the light. John shot a whole bunch of BTS stuff, so I might put some of that in here. Um, let's hold on that now. I think we're done. We're ready to do this. Karen's behind that flat over there, Air Force One. If you went uh, to the MZ tour, you might be familiar with some of these sets. Uh, they're from that. And sometimes Shane does education in here. He's in, in here yesterday, by the way, rolling stuff in for us to help uh, kind of fill in the set. And it was great. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's get to work. Cut.